Welcome to the first episode of Husky Hustle, where we run down UConn sports in just a few minutes. I'm Daisy Gonzalez. I'm Kyle Laidlaw, and the timer starts now. So our first topic, Paige Beckers. Um, what we've learned so far, her being back from injury, she's still really good at basketball. Uh, surprisingly underrated. I never thought I'd be saying that Paige Beckers is underrated, but she's projected third right now in the WNBA draft, which doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, she's showing selflessness, confidence on the court. Uh, spreading the ball to her teammates, looking really good at coming back from the injury. So it's really fun to watch. I think she's going to be absolutely instrumental in a tournament this year. What do you think? Well, I agree, but I think Clark is continued to dominate. She set Iowa's single game record in points of 44, 18 assists, and she's become the fastest Big Ten player to surpass 1,000 career points. Yeah, I mean, she's probably the first overall pick. You can't, you can't deny, you know, she's the, she's the best player in college basketball right now. There's no doubt about it. But I think Paige, Paige III, that right now, that's, that's just messing the head a little bit. I, I'll give it to Caitlin Clark, but I'll give that one to you. Next topic is Caroline Ducharme. She was just announced that she's going to be out for this season. Um, my personal opinion is that she didn't have that much of an impact on the team, and I think we are still going to be able to be the team that we are right now. You know, she's the biggest, one of the biggest what ifs for this team. With all the injuries the last few years, is I mean, she could have had way more of an impact than she did. I think she's a great player. She's a great scorer. She definitely had the the size and the length to be good on defense and good on offense. The impact definitely was was curbed by her injuries, and I, I, I would have liked to see her at full full strength her whole career. Um, I really wanted to come back, but right now all signs pointing to her not returning for next year. So we'll see where that goes. Um, but, yeah, Caroline Ducharme, big what if. Yes. Um, I don't think she will be back. Yeah. So now we're going to move on to men's basketball and what the rest of the season looks like for them. I think Klingon is the key to this team. A lot of what he does doesn't show up on the score sheet. Other teams don't want to go in the paint against them. Monster shot blocker, monster rebounder, huge for us on offense. Him in the paint allows us to move the ball around the outside, get good looks from three. I I mean, the game looks completely different when he's out there. Yeah, I, In the last game, they, they didn't want to go anywhere near the paint when he was on the court. And when Samson's in there, they attack a little bit more. So I think he's, he's the guy that we need to keep on the court for the rest of the season. I have to disagree. I think Cam Spencer and Tristan Newton have played the biggest roles in this team. And, like, we went out with – we didn't have – Donovan for a couple games and we still were it's true. in the role with other teams. Um, but I'm also still looking for Stefan Castle to play like the lottery pick that he is. But if we continue the, how we're playing right now, I think we're going to be able to get our sixth at home championship. That I agree with. Next topic is UConn women's freshman Ashlyn Shade and KK Arnold. Um, I think they are written off as how Paige Beckers was her freshman year, their starting lineups, and they are what I think the glue to this team. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't necessarily say that Paige was written off her freshman year, but KK and Ashlyn are exactly what this team needs. I mean, KK, great on defense, high intensity player, can shoot the three. Ashlyn's a, is a bucket. She's 47% from the field, hasn't missed a free throw yet. I, we, we weren't expecting them to start, I guess you could probably say that at the beginning of the year. But now that they are, I, I, I think it's great. And that's, that, that's the kind of depth that you need when, when we get a lot of injuries like this team does. That's, those are the people you need to step up if you want to have a big march. Who else do you think could step up as a freshman? That's a great question. There's a lot of options. But I think KK and Ashton are going to be the two that we uh, run deep. And our last topic for the day is men's basketball going up against Providence next week. I cannot wait for this game. No more Ed Cooley, no Bryce Hopkins this year. It doesn't matter. Still a rivalry game. Still going to be exciting. Still going to be loud. Going to be a real close game, I think. Uh, if they, UConn wants to win, they have to shut down Devin Carter. He's doing everything now that Hopkins is out. Uh, I believe Klingon will be able to take uh, Orduro out of the game. I like Klingon's physicality against him. I don't know. What do you think? Well, last year with our national championship team, we still lost, but Providence is also a whole new team. And they're not even ranked in the AP poll right now. Um, they had a close game with St. John's, just like we did. But we came out with the win. They came out with the loss. Mm -hmm. So if we can play to our strengths, I think we can. Yeah. 
That'll be interesting. Yeah. Providence just picked up a big win against Seton Hall at Seton Hall, and that was a, it was a close game down the stretch, and Kim English was able to put it together and pull out the win. So, who knows? Who knows what happens? Uh, that's just the Big East, I guess. That completes our rundown for this week. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week.